Today's video is gonna be something to be excited about. Because there are not many brands which offer fingerprint secured USB 3.0 flash drives in the market right now. And those who do, well, they offer pretty expensive ones. Welcome back to the channel once again. Today I'll be reviewing the eGate fingerprint secured USB 3.0 flash drives. Today I'll check out whether or not these devices are a reliable source to prevent your data from prying eyes because currently you can also encrypt your data from the prying guys using the Windows BitLocker encryption feature which is free. So I'll also check out whether or not these things justify their prices because they're currently cheapest fingerprint secured uh, USB flash drives in the market right now. So uh, are these a reliable source to prevent your data and do these uh, USBs stand out from the rest of the USB 3.0? USBs in the branded USBs in the market right now in terms of their data transfer speeds. Well, let's find out. The eGate fingerprint flash drives come in a card packing. They offer compatibility with all versions of Windows and Mac. They are USB 3.0 but are backwards compatible with USB 2.0 as well. EGIT offers a one-year replacement warranty and a limited lifetime warranty right out of the box. Since it's not a box, we cannot unbox it. So unpacking it, a shiny silver EGIT fingerprint USB flash drive comes out and there is nothing else inside. The device itself is very sleek and lightweight, in spite it is made of shiny steel. The fingerprint scanner is out in the front, but we'll get to that later. The cap is not detached as it is anchored with the thread, which in my opinion is a good thing as it won't get lost and the thread has a small ring on it, which you can use to put this eager flash drive in the keyring. There are three small screws on the back which keep the body of this flash drive in place. Speaking of the fingerprint scanner, it is made of ceramic type material with a matte surface. The surface of the fingerprint scanner is not scratch resistant as I was able to put scratches on it with my metal pry tool. So does the rest of the body. It gets easily scratched which I think is common in all flash drives made of steel bodies. So this device has performed really well in terms of its sleek design and elegant structure and so far I have no complaints with this thing regarding its design. Well what's next? Now we have to figure out how to install the software and drivers of this thing, how it is plug and play and how to register the fingerprints in it and for the record, this device can store up to 6 different fingerprints at a time. Setup is very easy, you can plug in the flash drives then open the file explorer. There you find two new drives, a drive named public which is the public portion of the data on the USB anyone can access. The other drive actually contains user manuals in Chinese and English along with the installation's utility. Make sure you do not delete this or else you have to re-download the utility from eGets website. Once you open this utility, it asks you to set a password and register the fingerprint. Next, you can add or remove fingerprints, rename them or whatever you like to do with them. Pretty easy, huh? You can also adjust how much you want to allocate to the secure folder and the public folder. It's pretty impressive so far. The only thing that I am frustrated about is that the secure folder shows up only after the hidden files are not hidden anymore. And you have to open the utility each time to access the secure folder. Otherwise, it asks you to format the folder, which obviously you don't want to do. In my opinion, the fingerprint sensor is very accurate, but it works only with the exact registered area. No more, no less of the fingerprint, just the registered area and you're good to go. There's a small blue LED light around the fingerprint sensor, which I find very nice, especially in the dark. It displays the data transfer when blinking and otherwise it is static all the time. Well so far so good. This device has performed really well until now and has lived up to my expectations. Now the final task is to determine the data transfer speeds of this device and its comparison to other branded USB 3.0 flash drives in the market right now to see 
if this thing really pays off the extra $68 for its current price for 64 gigabytes. That's all for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to ZForce Gaming if you haven't already. See you guys in the next video, take care, goodbye.